Hey guys, it's uh, Friday 7th of August here in Melbourne. The time now is um, well past uh, midnight. Um, I just wanted to log the events that um, has been unfolding in Melbourne for the past uh, few days before I go to bed. This is week one of uh, stage four lockdown uh, restrictions in Melbourne. Um, we also have uh, a nighttime curfew. You cannot leave your home uh, between 8 p.m. and 5 a.m. Um, unless and otherwise you um, have a pass uh, to go to work. Um, that is uh, essential services if you're working in essential services. Uh, I haven't left home um, in uh, five days since this lockdown restriction was announced. Um, thinking about going for a run tomorrow, which I'm looking forward to. Um, we had 450 cases today. Yesterday was another 400. Uh, 50 case day. Um, this is much better, even though it's hundreds of cases, it's much better compared to the days when we had 700 cases uh, in a day. So, um, which is a good sign. Hopefully, um, from next week onwards, we will see the stabilization of cases and then it starts coming down. Um, Daniel Andrews, uh, Victorian Premier Daniel Andrews, this man looks like uh, an exhausted. Uh, Premier. Um, I mean, I feel sorry for him. Um, he looks really tired. Uh, he has been getting a lot of uh, stick uh, recently for the way he handled this pandemic, uh, which in my personal opinion is quite unfair. Um, I mean, I'm upset about the way um, the Victorian government handled the hotel quarantine situation, but um, this man uh, is doing his absolute best uh, in managing the situation. Um, I mean, as a public, we uh, are not giving him enough support, if you ask me. The health officials and the Australian Defence Force went uh, door knocking. They conducted door knocking on people who are supposed to self-isolate. Um, so these are the ones who uh, have coronavirus and have, have been asked to self-isolate or uh, close contacts of someone who has COVID. So... Last week, when they conducted um, this door knocking exercise, they found one in four people were not at their home. And there were dozens of people who are missing. I mean, these people are out there spreading virus in our community. How can we blame our government when you cannot just listen to a simple instruction of stay at home? Um, I mean, I don't know which part of stay at home instruction that um, these people are not getting. Uh, for the past six months, Daniel Andrews and other health officials, including our Prime Minister, have been saying, stay at home if you don't um, have any of those four reasons to leave your home. Particularly when you have COVID-19. Um, it's so unfortunate, guys. If uh, you cannot listen to the simple instruction, then no one can help us in this situation. Um, I mean, um, this lockdown restriction uh, will stay in place until 13th of September. But if you're going to keep doing the wrong thing, we will be under indefinite lockdown restrictions or until um, there is a vaccine for this virus. So please, guys, stay at home. If you, if you don't have to leave home, just stay at home, please. Um, and then um, conspiracy theorists. The, the conspiracy theorists on social media have been um, operating over time recently, including people in mainstream media, um, mainly News Corp, uh, people who work for News Corp. I mean, the News Corp journalists don't deserve any of my time. Um, I mean, they don't have any integrity. They uh, work for one of the most corrupted corpor corporation in the world. So I'm not going to answer any of their conspiracy theory um, claims, but then, um, the keyboard warriors, um, people who are on social media questioning the uh, lockdown restrictions or questioning the reason to wear a mask. Um, so they mainly have three questions. They always have these uh, three set of questions that they ask uh, people who um, support the government um, restrictions. One, they uh, say is um, this virus hasn't killed many people. So it is like a normal virus. Guys, all you have to do is just look around you. 
look at the United States. They are still seeing tens of thousands of cases every day and hundreds of deaths um, each day. And at one point of time earlier in this pandemic, um, they um, experienced thousands of deaths every day. Uh, their hospital corridors was lined up uh, with body bags. We haven't had that situation in Australia because we imposed strict lockdown restrictions here, which means that when um, someone got sick, um, we didn't have tens of thousands of cases, which could have happened on our shores. Um, and even then, when someone got sick, they had um, enough hospital resources to uh, get treated. And if they wanted an ICU bed, we had an ICU bed available. If we had tens of thousands of cases, then ICU beds would have become a problem, which means that more deaths um, on our show. So it's quite simple, guys. Without the lockdown, we would have been um, staring down the barrel. So uh, you just got to read to find out um, how deadly this virus is. And the second thing that they ask um, about is, um, this virus doesn't kill young people. It only kills old people, so which means that um, we don't have to have uh, stricter lockdown restrictions. I mean, what a nasty thing to say. Um, I mean, you're okay with uh, our, our elderly who actually built this country to die. I mean, would you have said the same thing if it's uh, one of your own family members? Just what a, what a, what a nasty thing to say, guys. It's and. Um, you were wrong. It's um, it's not just a virus that kills only um, old people. Uh, there was a man in 30s that died last week um, and there are two young doctors in our ICU. So um, no, it's not a virus that only kills old people. This, this virus is deadly and um, it um, infects everyone. Um, it doesn't discriminate. Um, um, against any people. And uh, the third one that they uh, voice their opinion against is uh, wearing a mask. I mean, um, I don't have a medical qualification, but then I don't see any doctors or researchers who is researching on this virus voicing their opinion against wearing a mask or voicing their opinion against lockdown restrictions. All I will ask is what is your qualification to say that this is not going to work. Lockdown is not going to work. Of wearing a face mask is not going to work. Or calling this virus I hogs. I mean, no doctors have said this. No researchers have said this. So um, you don't have any qualification, unfortunately, to talk on this issue. Just uh, attending a conspiracy um, theorist meeting um, at the back of a gym doesn't qual qualify you to uh, talk on this situation. So um, you can keep your opinion to yourself. Let the uh, majority of the Vic uh, Victorians do the right thing, which is needed in the current situation. Um, to all the Victorians who are doing the right thing, thank you so much, guys. Um, I mean, uh, we are all in this together. Um, I'm, I'm confident that in six weeks' time, um, we will be in a much better position. And um, I'll pray for the same as well. Thank you so much.